All right, play it now. Hey guys, Green Valor. Today I'm going to talk about why uh, communists or Nazis or anyone of any ideology can justify murdering someone of another ideology. And uh, long story short, is projection. Because in their minds, they're already convinced of this ideology. They believe the other person is convinced of their ideology. They believe there's no change in them. Look at communism. It's probably one of the best examples. You cannot convince a communist that their their ideology is faulty until they're in the gulag, until they're until they're seeing their friends and their family being slaughtered for not working hard enough. They will never believe it, and even then, they might not believe it. This is how dangerous the ideology is. And when it comes to Nazis and fascism, they won't believe it until they're the out group, until they're the group that you come for, right? And they're like, okay, it's okay if the Jews are getting killed, it's okay if the disabled are being killed. Until they come for them specifically, they won't be drawn out of the ideology. So this is how you see these two groups, uh, how they justify murdering one another. And in the modern day, I'd be thinking, well, why don't they just have a rational discussion? It's because rational discussion is not on the table. It's ideological at this point. They want hegemony. They want everyone to think the way they think. You have to understand that in their mind, they're absolutists. They don't think maybe we could change their mind. They think if they're not already on our side, they're against us and it's time to die. This is the problem with ideology and why you really should question your motives all the time. Not question your actions, but your motives certainly. Because your actions might be justified, but your motives won't be. So, you know, motives and intention. And I'm a little high right now, just saying. But so let's say someone commits a crime, right? Someone commits an act of murder, and you know they're going to keep murdering more people, and you have the option to kill them, to stop the murdering. And you have to make the decision then. It's You're in completely legally good territory if you do this. You're fine, right? You commit the act uh, out of vengeance for the f for the murder that this person just committed. You don't commit it. You don't do it because you're saving lives. You don't do it because this person's going to commit kill someone else. This is morally compromising to most people, taking a life and trying to rationalize your motives and understanding that. But in the minds of an ideologue, in the minds of a communist or a fascist, that doesn't matter. What your motives are do not matter. What your intention is does not matter. They are part of that group. Therefore, you are justified. This is the problem with ideology and why you really have to understand your motives and intention and understand if you have a bias. If, you know, if you're part of an ideology, this is, this is really dangerous, especially when you go into legal territory. You, you, you're going, well, I, I don't have to agree with that law because my ideology says I don't have to. Well, I'm sorry, but your ideology doesn't matter when it comes to the law. The law is the only thing that is amoral, that doesn't have morality. There is no morality when it comes to law. It, it is things to keep society stable. It is, by definition, a conservative principle. It is a, a construct of order. That is what law is. You may not like it. You may not like that there is law. But law has to be there. Because if law isn't there, someone can take your shit. If law isn't there, someone can murder your family, rape your sister, your mother. All right? Law needs to be there. Not just to help prevent crime, but also to get justice when crime is committed. So you need law. Fascists and communists don't care about the law if it conflicts with their ideology. Same with religions. If a religion is ideological enough, if you're orthodox enough within that religion, it doesn't matter that there's a law preventing you from doing something. You will do it anyways because your ideology demands it. This is what we find with the Islamic State. They will break the law. They will commit honor killings. They will commit suicide bombings for their religion, for their ideology. And yes, I understand that there are aspects of Islam that aren't like this, but like I said, orthodox, meaning as close to the, the ideology as possible and ignoring the law. They can ignore the law because their ideology has hegemony, because your ideology supersedes the law. This is what happens when, you, when you, you're too far into an ideology, when you can't pull out. Anyone against you is an enemy, anyone against you must die. And you do feel that you're doing a service to them, either them or society. In Islam, you, you think that by killing an infidel, you are somehow saving them because you're preventing them from committing more, more acts of haram. Okay? This is no different than the Catholic Church when they slaughtered people. They, they felt that they were sinners and they had to die to save them from persecution and fury. Now, 
The Catholic Church had Reformation, which is why we don't do that anymore. But Islam really hasn't. And until we root out those aspects of Islam, we're always going to have Islamic terror, unfortunately. It's just the way it is. You have to confront these aspects of the ideology. Same with communism and fascism. Look, I don't care if you want to believe that. That's perfectly fine. But you cannot break the law. You can't break the law. I don't care if communists exist. It, I, I can sleep at night, honestly. And I hate communists so much. Fascists, don't care if they exist. You can exist if you want to. Think the way you want to. I think it's stupid, but think that way. You can go with it think that way. The minute you break the law is the minute I post your ideology. Is the minute I go, go fuck yourself. So don't break the law and you won't have this issue happening. I don't know why I'm going to tell this video. I've got a few minutes before I head out for work. It's been Green Valor. You guys know what to do. Sub up, like the video, comment because I love your suggestions. Tell me what you think about ideology and tell me what you think about all this crap. I don't know what I'm going to title this video yet. Pretty high, hopefully. Not still this way when I get to work. Alright, guys, have a good day.